Oh, that's very nice of you. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> oh, I see. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, so you won the Golden Globe last week. You won the SAG Award this week. How are you spending your time? What, what, what have you uh, done between them? Uh, and how have you been feeling? Uh, I've been feeling very well. Um, I um, have, uh, you know, because I made this announcement, because these public appearances were on the horizon, it's been actually a nice surprise. I've had a lot of people reach out to me who I wouldn't have heard from otherwise, high school teachers, friends from college. And uh, so I, I've actually spent a lot of this week um, responding to a lot of really, um, you know, concerned but ultimately con congratulatory uh, emails and, and, and things like that. So that's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Hi. Congratulations Glad again. Thanks. Uh, when you started <coughs> this show, did you foresee like awards or was it just like, you know, it was work at first? Did you see that? Did you think it would be as, criti as critically acclaimed as it was? Um, I didn't know. I mean, I, I knew that, that our task was to try to sympathize a serial killer and that that was a maybe unique goal. <laughs> um, I thought that the, the show would, would probably develop some sort of cult following. I didn't maybe anticipate that that following would be as broad that it would attract as many different kinds of viewers as, it's, as it had. And I certainly didn't foresee bobbleheads and video games and all that stuff. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, or I wanted to ask, where did you put your Golden Globe and where are you going to put this? Um, I put it in a, in a little, little passageway between the bathroom and guest bedroom where we have such things in our house. So I'll probably, uh, I'll probably put it up there. Yep, you're welcome.